Oh my god, it just rattled the plane. I don't know if the plane's going to survive this. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to some more Armour 3. This is weird, why is Mighty Mapper playing Armour 3 again? And that's because I have just reinstalled it and I thought, do you know what, let's, let's drop some nuclear bombs. So right here we are in a fighter jet. And if you can see in the top right corner, look, if I change to it, we have one B61 nuclear bomb. So what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be checking what it's like to drop a nuclear bomb on Chernogorsk um, from three different perspectives. So we're going to be checking the perspective from the cockpit right here in the jet. Then we're going to be checking the perspective from the commander, the American commander, who is currently stationed in the mountains. If, if anything, we'll switch to him right now and I will show you guys. So this is the commander in the mountains. Oh no, this is not. This is the Russian commander, my mistake. So we've got this guy. He is going to be overlooking the town and we're going to be seeing the destruction and uh, demise of this beautiful little Russian town right here. Then we have an operator who is currently in the mountains and this is how far away we are. Look, look how far we are. And we're going to be seeing the big mushroom cloud from this perspective. And then we've got another guy who is currently on the ground inside Chernogorsk. Look. And he is surrounded by two tanks. And I'll be intrigued to see if these two tanks survive the nuclear blast. So without further ado, we're going to get in our nuclear jet, whatever it's called. I don't know what plane it is. I don't think it's a plane that actually carries nukes. Oh, God, he's flying. Oh, I don't know. What's he doing? Get back on the uh, track right here. So we're going to take off now. Uh, this is the first time I flew in absolutely ages. So do wish me luck. So if I remember correctly, we've got to pick up some speed, and then we've got to pull into the sky, then we've got to put our flaps down, is it? Flaps down? Here we go. Okay, no, it's gear up, gear up, that's the one. Gear up, there we are. And we're here, look, we're, we're in the sky. So we're currently on the B-61 nuclear bomb, and this is the plane, it's super loud, so if I'm shouting down the mic right now, it's not my fault, and if you cannot hear me, it is not my fault. But uh, let's make sure we're going in the right direction. So we're currently heading in the direction of Chernogorsk. Bang on. So we want to strafe to the right a tiny little bit. And I'm going to try my very best to try and land it bang on in the center of the city if I can. It might be a little bit out. But I've had a few practice runs before the start of this video. So hopefully we'll hit the target. Look how beautiful this is. Look, Look how big Armour 3 is. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, do let me know in the comments. So here we go. We're just coming up on the target location here. I'm going to gain some altitude just so I don't blow the plane up with the nuke. Okay, three, two, one, drop. And we're down. We're going to check the perspective from the plane first. Oh, we've just missed the target. It's going to land in the water. What? It's going, it's going in the sea. Where's it going? That was terrible. But nevertheless, still pretty cool. Oh my god, it just rattled the plane. I don't know if the plane's going to survive this. So there's the mushroom cloud. Let's see if we can strafe to the left a little bit so we can see it. Don't want to crash into the sea. And now the question is, did the Russians survive is the question. Because I missed the target by a long shot there. Oh god, I'm going to crash into the sea. No, 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 pick up, pick up, pick up. Oh, it doesn't matter. Quick, quick. He's dead. Switch to the officer. Oh, there we go. So we can see that the officer is currently picking up a lot of radiation. He's going to die if I don't repair him. But luckily, because I'm such a bad aim, the officer is still alive. Not too sure about the sniper in the tower, though. So let's check the sniper in the tower. Did the tank survive? Yep, the tanks are still kicking it. Uh, we need to check out the marksman now. The marksman is still also good. And let's have a look at that mushroom cloud. That's insane. Again, really lucky that it didn't land on me. But next time, I think I know now. I think I know where to drop the bomb. I think uh, I, I dropped it a little bit too late that time. So let's check the perspective now from the operator in the mountains. Again, the radiation has even hit the operator in the mountains. And look at the size of that mushroom cloud. No, what, I think the plane, do you know what? I don't think it was my driving or my piloting. I think the plane genuinely went down because of the nuke so anyway let's start this one again so next up 
we have the perspective of the uh, operator in the mountains. So we're going to see the nuke go off from the operator in the mountains. I am going to fly there and try and drop the nuke yet again. Hopefully I'll get it on target this time. I think I need to drop it really early to hit its uh, destination. So we're going to pick up some speed and we're going to pick up some altitude. And then we're going to put the gear up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we are. Oh, no. Oh, oh, nearly crashed then. God damn. And we're up. We are in the air. So it's just a matter of flying over to Chernogorsk again. Dropping the bomb. The bomb. There we are. Not far. Not far. No, oh, no, no, no. Pick up, pick up. Oh, God. So we're going to strafe to the right and head between those mountains right there. Let's switch to the bomb. And again, let's have a nice look at the beautiful scenery. We've got loads more bombs on this. We've got missiles, we've got uh, machine guns. This is a really cool plane, look. We've got these machine guns. Oh, God. We need to get the bomb out. Get the bomb out. Stop talking, mighty. Stop talking. And here we go. We're going to drop it about now. So, bomb is dropped. And now we're going to switch straight to the operator. So, there's the plane. It's very deafening. And Oh, the plane's going down. Where's the plane going down? No, the bomb... It blew up outside again. That was closer, though. That was definitely closer than the last one. That plane even survive? It's going to space, everyone. This is SpaceX. But let's have a look at that mushroom cloud. That is a beautiful animation. Or FX, or whatever you want to call it. Absolutely beautiful. We got to see the explosion. It's a shame, again, I wanted to get it in the center of the city. I'll try my very best to get it in the center. Third time lucky. Hopefully a third time a charm. So anyway, that was the explosion from the perspective of the operator in the mountains. So last but not least, we're going to see the perspective of the dude who is actually in the town. So I want to see if he dies instantly or if the radiation takes him out because I'm not sure if there's a atomic blast, like a sort of blast radius, which kills everything instantly. Maybe even takes out the buildings. That'd be pretty interesting to see. Unless it's took out of the buildings already, I'm not sure. So anyway, let's start this one again. So here we are again. This time we're going to be seeing if we can switch to one of the Russians just as the bomb goes off. I'm going to try and drop the bomb bang on in the center of the city this time. If I can take off, that is, because my piloting skills absolutely suck. Tell me, in the comments, am I flying these planes right? Do I need to t put these flaps down? Let's have a little look. Uh, I think I did that right. Yep, flaps down, gear up. And we're getting a lot more altitude now. Which is really good. So if I remember correctly, we strafe right. I'm not even going to look at the map this time. We're going to find it ourselves. We're going to switch to the nuclear bomb. We're armed and ready. Strafe right. And I think we're currently en route to our target now. So third time a charm. Hopefully, if we gain some more altitude, we might be able to hit the city properly. So, let's have a look from this pers this perspective. Again, it's super loud. Oh, straight to the left. To the left. To the left. And... Uh, I think we need to... I think it's a bit too late. Too late. We're too late. God damn it. We're going to circle around and we're going to drop the bomb properly this time. I was way too late. Never mind though. Makes it more exciting. Literally the adrenaline is rolling right now. So let's try to the right. Hopefully we'll hit the target this time. This thing is super fast. We're going to go over 300 meters per second. And here goes nothing. We're now on target, on target, come on, come on. Three, two, one, and drop. 
Switch, quick, switch, switch, switch. Let's go for the marksman in the tower. This is the best area. Oh, we're actually shooting at it. There's the plane. Oh, no. It literally went off right on us. Oh, instantly dead. So there is a blast shockwave then. Which means now we're going to have to switch to the operator in the mountains just to see if it's a direct hit. Oh, and the building's coming down as well. What? Even the building came down. Quick switch. I'm getting super lag. What has happened? Team switch. Let's see what happened right there. Let's see if that was a direct hit. Where, where we're looking. It was. It was a direct hit. Third time a charm. A dark, even though we missed the target, we came in from a good angle, I think. Let's press the G cam. And let's have a look at a cool cinematic angle right there. Look at that. It's awesome. I love nukes on this game. Let me know if there's any more nuke mods because this is the only one I could find. I'll be sure to link it in the description. It's on the workshop. And uh, yeah, it's got a really nice effect to it. I love the Geiger sounds. I love that it makes all the screen yellow or orange or whatever. And yeah, it's just a really cool mod altogether. There's a lot we could do with it. So anyway, there's the Mushroom Cloud. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more from armor 3 do let me know in the comments also be sure to shoot that like button and also drop a bomb a nuclear bomb on that subscribe button and join the mighty nation so i thank you all for watching and i will see you all in the next one i wonder if that tank survived i don't think it did we can't even switch player to see if it did